In brief, my conclusions are, this is an outreach program, and we are here to communicate to you that you mean a lot. And we are here to give you a platform in Andhra Pradesh, an experience in Andhra Pradesh that would be far more different, that would be different from any other state. In fact, uh, thanks to our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, the platform of India is already on the global diaspora. And now, as far as Andhra Pradesh is concerned, as far as a state within India, Andhra Pradesh is concerned, to just speak a few words of it. All what I'd like to say is, we are the fastest growing state in the country, with 11.43% GST. And uh, we are also rated in the sphere of ease of doing business, we are rated number one in this country for the past three years in a row. And especially, and especially when entrepreneurs are to give their opinion, when industry is supposed to give their opinion, and when that is taken into perspective, we are rated number one in ease of doing business consecutively for the last three years in a row. I think that would speak volumes of uh, what we are doing in the state of Andhra Pradesh. And uh, as the video played earlier clearly showcased that we have a 974 kilometer coastline. <coughs> we have six ports which are in operational in four locations. We are adding four more ports to the existing six that are already in operation and six airports as well. And uh, we're also constructing three industrial corridors with the help of central government, of course. Out of 11 industrial corridors which are coming up in this country, three of them are coming up in our state, which would speak volumes about the kind of development, the kind of connectivity the state would offer to the industrial community. And of course, uh, uh, we have a treasure house of 48 minerals suitable for various uh, uh, mineral specific industries as well. And most importantly, the ease of doing business which speaks about a single desk portal wherein all the approvals are deemed given within 21 days. I mean, uh, that itself would stand as a testimony of how swift and how fast we are. And uh, you have uh, a lot of industrial clusters, electronic and manufacturing clusters. We have in that arena, we have four clusters, toy clusters, we have two of them in that arena, food processing clusters, we have two of them in that arena, textile parks, we have ten in that arena. Cement clusters, we have two in that arena. Medical devices, manufacturing cluster, we have one in that arena. Pharma clusters, automobile clusters, all these are also automobile clusters. We have four pharma clusters, we have two. All these are also readily available along with plug and play model as well. So here I am uh, to invite you to Visakhapatnam which is going to be our capital in the days to come. I myself would also be shifting over to Visakhapatnam in the months to come as well. And uh, we, are we are organizing this global summit, investor summit in Visakhapatnam on March 3rd and 4th. And uh, I take this opportunity to personally invite all of you uh, to this summit in Visakhapatnam 
and request all of you to not only come over there, but also put in a strong, good word uh, to, your, uh, to your colleagues abroad uh, to come and visit us, see for themselves how easy it is to do business in our state of Andhra Pradesh. Digitization is also of paramount importance. Our single desk portal offers a one-stop digital platform for all domestic and international investments with over 90 business services across 23 departments. The business specific approvals for setting up of businesses are granted within a maximum time frame of 21 days. To improve the delivery of citizen-centric services, we also have the AP Seva system at the village and ward secretariats providing over 540 services. On the enterprise development and skill enhancement front, I have always believed that conducive business environment is one of the most important requirements for achieving accelerated enterprise growth. The state of Andhra Pradesh is known for its focus ensuring business friendly environment for the stakeholders. The state has consistently stood first in the country in ease of doing business. Consecutively for the past three years and received the highest positive feedback of 97.89% from industry surveyed by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Government of India, DPIIT, which itself speaks volumes of the conducive environment in the state. Moreover, we have proactively amended acts and repealed obsolete laws to reduce compliance burden on the industry, along with good infrastructure and a conducive business environment, availability of skilled workforce is very crucial if the desired outcome is to be achieved. To this end, the state government is in the path of setting up 26 skill development colleges in the state. The state government is working with the objective of upgrading skills of our local youth to international standards through significant industry involvement through these skill development colleges. I wish to conclude by reiterating that with proactive policy formulation and due attention to each of the pillars discussed, we are facilitating a business-friendly environment and are also ensuring sustainable economic development of the state. At the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit 2020-23, over the next two days, we will be showcasing the strengths of our state and the business prospects that are available. We urge all the business leaders to participate actively in the sector sessions and engage with our teams to understand the potential opportunities in various sectors in our state. It is our commitment to facilitate the most conducive business ecosystem in the state. I once again assure you that we are only a phone call away. Whenever you need us for anything whatsoever in supporting your business, this is our assurance to you. I thank you once again for being part of this summit and extending your warmth and support. I do hope that you have a wonderful time in our beautiful city of Visakhapatnam, which would be our executive capital as well in the days to come. I myself would be shortly moving over to Visakhapatnam in the days to come as well.